Hi everyone. So this is like our hundredth take. Uh, <laughs> um, last time Nico did a huge fart in the middle of it. So <laughs> that was a bust. But we did just want to update everyone. We do have a little bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> but we just basically wanted to make a quick video and give you all an update. We just thought it'd be easier to kind of tell everybody at once what we've um, been going through and then what we've found out. Uh, so many of you know that Nico's been undergoing some testing, including genetic testing, to try to figure out like if the things that have happened to him while, while I was pregnant and post-pregnancy have any kind of connection. So we did recently get his genetic testing back and he does have a call for a one gene mutation which um, is also called Gould syndrome. It is a rare genetic disorder. It basically causes an abnormality in the blood vessels, the small vessels, and it can present in many organs across the body. Um, Nico's had obviously a brain bleed and he has bilateral cataracts. Um, there are, it can also affect like many other organs in his body. So now we'll be undergoing some additional testing with other specialists, but he is doing well. And um, even, you know, receiving this diagnosis, we are doing well too. Um, we're just trying to take it day by day. And um, it is a rare genetic disorder. So there are something like 300 people in the world that have this. He is actually the first one of his particular variant, um, which is not um, abnormal when there's so few people that have it. Um, he's just a huge light in our lives and in, in Emmys and um, super happy. I mean, as all of you know, he's doing great. He's growing great. He's um, progressing and everything we could ask for. So um, we're just gonna kind of go on this journey one day at a time, get as much information as we can, and then just um, see what happens. Unfortunately, it, it is like a watch and wait situation and um, there's not really like any treatments or um, clinical trials or anything like that that you would do for this. You just kind of supportive care if a, a situation arises. So, um, if you guys have any questions, you can definitely reach out to us. Um, again, we just wanted to let everybody know that's kind of been going on this journey with us. And um, we appreciate like everybody sending love and thoughts and prayers. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah. He does have a couple things coming up in the near future. As you guys see, he has glasses. Not many people have probably seen him since he got his glasses, but. I did have someone ask me if they were for fashion or for function, which I thought was interesting since they are I'm for... not sure if you really put fashion glasses on a six month old, but. So they are for function you know. if anyone's questioning. <laughs> um, so along with the syndrome is cataracts. So Nico does have the bilateral Cadillac. Cataracts. Cadillac. <laughs> his mother also wants a Cadillac, yes. Bilateral ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so it seems like he'll be getting his left cataract out on November 11th. So that's upcoming. So we'll kind of update everyone as that's coming along. Um, but like Court said, we're just taking it kind of day by day, letting him lead the way. And he's doing great so far. He's hitting all his milestones. He is humongous, if you haven't noticed. He went from the fourth percentile to the 59th in weight. And he learned how to pout this week. So, yes. But... Um... But thank you guys again for all your support and love. And we couldn't be more um, thankful and oh. happy that we have the families and friends that we do that have been supporting us through this journey. And uh, we know we'll continue to be there for us should we need anything. Um, so thank you all so much. And um, hope you stick around to follow our little man's journey. <laughs> Bye, guys.